while we're hanging out here on the ground, our work's not yet done. Let us continue. This next exercise for the glutes is going to be known as the supine bridge. And the supine bridge is pretty simple. Supine means lying on the ground upright. That's where I am. And bridge is bridging with the glutes. So I'm creating a bridge between my upper back and my heels. And notice that my heels are touching the ground and my toes are elevated. This is what we consider easy. Just squeeze on up, hold for a second. You want to feel it in the glutes. You can even you know, graze your glutes a little bit and you'll actually feel those muscles turn on a little bit more than if you didn't do that. Why am I saying all this? Here's where I don't want you to feel it. I don't want you to feel it in your lower back. You're doing the same thing as the supine group dog. You're doing just eight to 10 reps, holding for two seconds at the top. Now, let's say that that gets too easy. Sooner or later, even if you don't believe me, it's going to. Well, you can bring over, hold the mother dumbbell, place it right here, and you're doing the same exercise, but without a resistance. Two seconds. Sooner or later, that's going to get too easy, but not to fear, because a second dumbbell is here. You can raise them both. Hold up like that. Maybe that's a little bit too challenging uh, for a balanced position. You can hold it like this. Or you can just get a heavier dumbbell. These are two 15 pounders. You can use 130. You can wrap a towel around it. The bottom line is you are choosing the difficulty. But don't cheat yourself. Once you can do a good 10 reps for two seconds with a given weight, even if it's just body weight, add five pounds, then add to 10 pounds, then go to 15 pounds. Once you can do 10 reps, two second holds at the top, feeling it in the glutes, not on the lower back, rest. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and give it a try. 